It's always Solomon's weather when Jack puts on one of his star-spangled builds and the huge White City Stadium is a picture. The sun's gone down, but for one of the brightest evening programs ever staged, the stars come out. George Raft, for instance. Look out, George, or he'll sign you to fight our newest film star, Freddie Mills. The ringside is packed with celebrity. Here's the crazy gang. Nearby, just back from America, is Sherman Douglas. Host of the city is Frank Gentle, GRA chairman. Elsewhere, we find the Duke of Norfolk and Britain's number one airman, Lord Brabazon, as the fanfares announce the entry of the gladiators. First, Randolph Turpin. And the fight, which may decide the shape of champions to come, is on. Turpin, with the stripe on his trunks, British middleweight champion, is fighting a class higher for Cockle's British light heavyweight title and the vacant empire title is at stake. Both men open very casually. The fight means an awful lot to them.
Stop. Referee Tommy Little stops the fight, tells the timekeeper to take time out, and then tells both men to cut out the politenesses and get cracking. and going at it like the master we know he is. He seems to have learned quite a lot from his two fights with Sugar Ray Robinson. bleeding at mouth and eye and looking tired, Turpin hardly sweating and all set for the kill. Wink meant curtains for couple. Tommy Little has stopped the fight. John protests, but it's the right decision. Haygate announces Randolph Turpin as the new British and Empire light heavyweight champion. champion receives the congratulations of his brother Jack. And then, before you can say Sugar Ray Robinson, he's talking future plans with Jack Solomon. Good night, champ. 